The next stop on our tour will be the Jefferson Market Library. The historic landmark was originally built as a courthouse with an adjacent prison and market between 1875 and 1877. The same architects who assisted in the planning and design of Central Park built the building in the Victorian Gothic style. The building was voted one of the 10 most beautiful buildings in America by a poll of architects in the 1880s. It originally housed a civil court, a police court, and a holding area prisoners on their way to jail or trial. The tower of the Jefferson Market Library stands 100 feet above the ground and once commanded an unobstructed view of Greenwich Village. The bell that summoned volunteer firefighters to the fire watcher's balcony housed in the tower still remains. The courthouse held many trials, including the famous trial for the murder of architect Stanford White, as well as the trials of women strikers of the Triangle Shirtwaist Factory. By 1927, the courts were used solely for the trials of women, and in 1929, the Market and Coed Prison were torn down and replaced by the Women's House of Detention, probably the only Art Deco prison in the world. The House of Detention was raised in 1973 and replaced by a community garden. By 1945, through redistricting, court was no longer held at Jefferson Market, and the building was taken over by various agencies, including the police academy, which is rumored to have used it for riot training. This group departed in 1958, leaving the courthouse empty. In 1959, the city planned to raise the abandoned building, prompting community members, including Lewis Mumford and E.E. E. Cummings, to rally together in protest. In 1961, Mayor Robert F. Wagner announced that it would be preserved and converted into a public library. 